Good morning. It's the final day. So without further ado, shitty breakfast time. Creamed porridge, because quite frankly, porridge is just not worth having if it isn't creamed. Mm -hmm. My last baby food breakfast. That's quite creamed. Oh, it's like snot. Oh, wait. It's the gloopiest thing I've ever fucking... Ugh, that, no, porridge shouldn't do that. What is that? Gah! Actually, if I put some on there, that's fucking burning me. Whip! Whip! Fucking burning, get off! Whip! Last meal. I don't know what kind of fancy babies they are trying to uh, entice with their baby food at hip, but apparently carrot, salmon and dill risotto is something that babies want. Can't fucking stand salmon, so... Zippity doodah fucking day. Fucking boiling hot. Definitely taste the carrot. Like that's a surprise. It smells fishier than it tastes. Thank Christ for that. Don't think I can taste the dill. Yeah, it's just a slightly... 41% of this is fucking carrot. No wonder that's all I can taste. No. Okay. Hopefully I'm going to end on a high. Heinz. Strawberry, raspberry and banana puree. So as the yeah, trend goes, the desserts tend to be a lot nicer than the main courses, even though it's probably going to look a little bit like poop. Definitely looks a lot like poop. A little bit sour, but actually tastes nice. I quite like that. And now the end has come. Time to eat the final dinner, I suppose. And here it is, the last dinner of the week, which is a uh, Spanish slow-cooked pork. Looks very nice in the picture. Uh, to be fair, it does look very nice there. Kind of just slopped on the plate. And a bit of salad, with one tomato hiding in there, you evil thing. But I'm going to enjoy this. And then I'm going to go to bed, and I'm going to wake up, and I'm not going to have baby food ever again. Even if I have all my teeth kicked out tomorrow, I can tell you, I'd rather eat rocks than baby food. Never again. Well, that was a week on the baby food diet. God, it's all blue. Makes it look darker than it actually is. Uh, that was awful. Like you needed me to tell you that again. You sit down somewhere. Uh, that was terrible. Couldn't stand one minute of it. Okay, no, that's a lie. The evening meals were fine. But literally, that's it. I dreaded breakfast dreaded lunch, dreaded the thought of it, 
there was maybe what two or three nice jars in the whole lot and I could have potentially had 14 jars a day whereas I had two or three and that was if I finished it which I didn't always do so you could argue maybe I didn't do the diet properly I did it as close as I could you, you could only eat up to 14 there was no minimum so you could eat up to 14 so I don't think I've cheated I don't think I've done wrong but will my body have reacted the way it's supposed to on this stupid diet don't know I guess we'll find out in the morning but if you've heard about this one if you've considered this one and after doing searches on Twitter and things like that, I know people are doing it. They're on it. But most people are hating it as well. No surprise there. But don't do it. You will regret it. I. It doesn't. I, you know, if I've lost a pound, I'd be happy. But it wouldn't make it worth it. If I've lost ten pounds. I'd be really happy, but it still wouldn't have been worth it, because this was just the worst. I got no satisfaction out of any of the food I ate during... Um, this is something we're supposed to give to our babies, our children. Awful food. Just, if you have a child and you have the time, just, maybe you could just mash up a bit of your own food for them just because these jars are just I hope your kid likes carrot if you're giving them these jars of baby food because most of them are about 90% carrot and they taste like it too carrot and water so just mash up your own carrots probably be less preservatives in it better for them oh well I'm going to stop moaning now just going to wait and see what those scales say in the morning uh, and I'm just going to celebrate now and I'm going to do this because I wanted it for ages. Because I want to see how it looks. You ready? Okay, it was £192, so let's have a go. £188.2, so £3.8. Okay, maybe softens the blow a little bit of this stupid, ridiculous diet, but like I said, in my conclusion, it's totally not worth it. It has been the worst week of food I can ever remember. So, screw you baby food diet, screw you all the celebrities that endorse it and have done it. Go and eat a bloody meal, go and get some food in your belly, go and have a burger. That's what I'm going to do.